all the people of the land rejoiced, and the city was quiet. And the Ataliyahu they had slain with the sword at the king's house. Yehoash was seven years old when he began to reign. Of the books called Kings, the second, chapter 11, in the seventh year of Yehu began Yehoash to reign, and he reigned forty years in Yerushalem. And his mother's name was Thabiyah of Behrashaba. And Yehoash did that which was right in the eyes of Yahweh all his days, wherein Yehoyada the priest instructed him. Howbeit the high places were not taken away, the people still sacrificed and burnt incense in the high places. And Yehoash said to the priests, all the money of the hallowed things that is brought into the house of Yahweh in current money, the money of the persons for whom each man is rated, and all the money that it cometh into any man's heart to bring into the house of Yahweh, let the priests take it to them, every man from his acquaintance, and they shall repair the breaches of the house, wheresoever any breach shall be found. But it was so that in the three and twentieth year of King Jehoash, the priests had not repaired the breaches of the house. Then King Jehoash called for Jehoiah the other priest, and for the other priests, and said to them, Why repair ye not the breaches of the house? Now therefore, Take no more money from your acquaintances, but deliver it for the breaches of the house. And the priests consented that they should take no more money from the people, neither repair the breaches of the house. But Jehoiada the priest took a chest and bored a hole in the lid of it and set it beside the altar on the right side as one cometh into the house of Yahweh. And the priests that kept the threshold put therein all the money that was brought into the house of Yahweh. And it was so, when they saw that there was much money in the chest, that the king's scribe and the high priest came up, and they put up in bags and counted the money that was found in the house of Yahweh. And they gave the money that was weighed out into the hands of them that did the work, that had the oversight of the house of Yahweh. And they paid it out to the carpenters and the builders that wrought upon the house of Yahweh, and to the masons and the hewers of stone, and for buying timber and hewn stone to repair the breaches of the house of Yahweh and for all that was laid out for the house to repair it. But there were not made for the house of Yahweh cups of silvers, snuffers, basins, straight horns, any vessels of gold or vessels of silver of the money that was brought into the house of Yahweh, for they gave that to them that did the work, and repaired therewith the house of Yahweh. Moreover, they reckoned not with the men, into whose hand they delivered the money to give to them that did the work, for they dealt faithfully. The money for the culpability offerings, and the money for the sin offerings, was not brought into the house of Yahweh, it was the priests. Then Hazael, king of Aram, went up, and fought against Gert, and took it, and Hazael set his face to go up to Yerushalem. And Jehoash, king of Yehuda, took all the hallowed things that Jehoshaphat and Jehoram and Jehoshiahu, his fathers, kings of Yehuda, had dedicated, and his own hallowed things, and all the gold that was found in the treasures of the house of Yahweh and of the king's house, and sent it to Hazael, king of Aram, and he went away from Yerushalem. Now the rest of the acts of Yoash and all that he did, 
Are they not written in the book of the Chronicles of the kings of Yehuda? And his servants arose and made a conspiracy and smote Yoash at the house of Malor on the way that goeth down to Selah. For Yozachar, the son of Shema'ath, and Yehozabad, the son of Shomer, his servants, smote him, and he died. And they buried him with his fathers in the city of Dawid, and Amathiah, his son, reigned in his stead.